What's going on everybody? Another big trailer tonight. Transformers The Last Night. Hopefully Transformers The Last Movie. At least under Michael Bay. Uh, just full disclosure, I'm not a fan of this franchise whatsoever. I loved the first movie when it first came out. Honestly, haven't probably watched it in six or seven years, so I don't know if it holds up with me or not. Didn't like the second one at all. Hated all the humor in it. Did not like pretty much anything about that movie. Didn't bother with the third one. Fourth one looked awesome. But I waited and then found out that everybody was just destroying that movie, even though it made ungodly amounts of money. So I never bothered with that one. So this one, just a little pretext for the whole production of this movie. When they were trying to revamp this franchise from all the critical just demolishing that that fourth one got, and really the second and third one got too, they had a lot of really popular, really well-known and critically acclaimed writers get together in a room and come up with some ideas and put some scripts together for this fifth movie and I believe even maybe another movie and then unbeknownst to all of them Michael Bay decided to stay on for another movie so pretty much anybody who knows that going into it they're going oh well he's just gonna do what he wants anyway and I'm not really a Michael Bay basher but I think that his Transformers movies are god-awful minus the first one so Transformers the last night let's check out this trailer and see if we're gonna get duped yet again into how awesome this movie looks and what we'll to see so just, we'll have to see. Here we go. It has been said. Medieval times. Okay. Through the ages. Robot dragon. Without sacrifice. Is that Anthony Hopkins? There can be no victory. Yeah, it's Anthony Hopkins. Because you have to see the fourth one and understand what the fuck's going on. This is looking exactly like all the other movies. The same shots, the same style, the same filters. Optimus Prime's a bad guy now. Okay, um... That did absolutely nothing for me. That looks exactly like all the other movies. It's the same exact shots, the same filters, the same little slow motion people running. All that shit. The, how many times can you see the same robots fight each other? I mean, like, if you guys are fans of these movies, by by no means, don't take offense to what I'm saying. Because if you love them, by all means, love them. That's great that you love them. I can't stand them. This does not. This looks exactly like all the others. I keep saying it, but this is nothing new. This doesn't show anything new story-wise. This is exactly. This is like a commercial for the first four movies, with the small little twist added in that Optimus Prime is a bad guy now. I mean, I don't understand why these movies... This is what's wrong with the movie-going audience. You know, again, don't take offense to this, but it's, I hear so much about Hollywood's running out of ideas. Hollywood just does sequels. They just do reboots. They just do rehash and rehash and rehash. That's because over a billion 
dollars goes into shit like this. When you get a movie that's original out there, the thing flops, or it goes to the theater for three weeks, or it ends up on the Blu-ray shelf and nobody even knows what the hell it is, yet Transformers, which the vast majority of people say is absolute garbage movies, continue to get just truckloads of money dumped on their lawn to make more movies, and they get three, four, five, six, seven times the amount back because everybody just rushes to the theater to get to go see it. So if I hope the movie's good. I don't hope that it's trash. I hope this is just a really bad trailer for a movie that may or may not revamp this franchise, but just I'm over the Michael Bay Transformers world. I think somebody else needs to get a hold of this franchise. Somebody, you know, Michael Bay is a talented guy, but just his his talents are not being used in movies like this. You know, I miss the old movies like The Rock and Bad Boys. And, you know, he it's not one of my favorite movies of his, but 13 Hours showed a new side, or at least a better side of Michael Bay we haven't seen in a long time. He does not need to be wasting his time with this. I know he probably gets ass loads of money to do this, but just somebody else needs to take this franchise. We need to get somebody with the mind of, like, what James Wan did for Fast, uh, Fast Furious 7, or, you know, F. Gary Gray, or just somebody with a different spin, a different style, a different vision for this franchise besides Michael Bay visual noise porn so this video has turned into a rant um, this movie I have no interest in it whatsoever honestly I don't it, there's not gonna be a anything about this trailer that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow thinking you know that was actually pretty cool this is the same shit that I've seen since that first movie came out over and over and over and over again there's nothing new here so I'm sorry for all of those Hollywood writers that hammered out those probably incredible scripts and great really creative ideas to bring this franchise around Looks like none of that shit's going to make it into the movie. It's just going to be a bunch of visual noise. So, what do you guys think of this trailer? Are you a fan of this franchise? What's your favorite one? Your least favorite one? Are you looking forward to this one? Do you think this trailer sells you on a new one? Or does this look like the same old shit like I think it looks like? Put all those thoughts down below in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Please like and share this video and hit that subscribe button. That way you get to come back and see me next time. But if that's not soon enough to check out some more of my videos, you can check out a few more by clicking right over here.